<laughs> now, this week, the Daily Mail serialised this book, which I have here. Tom Bower's uh, book called Rebel Prince, which details what the paper called the breathtakingly indulgent life of Prince Charles. Boa interviewed 120 Clarence House insiders for the first comprehensive picture of Prince Charles's real life. It's a sensational expose of a man who is as in touch and in tune with ordinary life in Britain today as P. Diddy or Kanye West. I'm just going to read out the best bits, which I will justify as entertainment simply by occasionally raising a wry eyebrow at the end of each segment, like so. <laughs> Camilla Parker Bowles, who the book claims the Queen hates, is depicted as one of the most astonishingly lazy shits in human history, <laughs> with one of her family describing her as the laziest woman to have been born in England in the 20th century. Meanwhile, Princess Diana said Charles only fell for Camilla because Charles is obsessed by Camilla's tits. And I haven't got tits as big as Camilla's. Oh, Charles, you old dog. Camilla, meanwhile, is said to have unflattering cartoons of Diana framed all over the walls of her downstairs lavvy. No. Now, Charles and Camilla got married on the same day as the Grand National. Now, the Queen obviously loves the GGs, and she had no interest in the wedding because, according to Boa, she thought Camilla was a gold digger, something she told Charles after several martinis. Even though she'd already seen the Grand National that day on the telly, Her Majesty left the royal wedding early because she wanted to watch it again on video. But a courtier fucked up the buttons and didn't record it, and the Queen was absolutely fucking livid. Well, fair play, Mum. <laughs> Once Charles stayed over with a posh mate in the northeast of England, but he wasn't willing to stay in a guest room, so. He sent a truck over the day before to his mate's house, which contained his entire bedroom from home, including his orthopaedic bed, his own linen, a small radio, his own lavatory seat, rolls of Kleenex premium comfort lavatory paper and special posh whiskey, bottled water, plus two landscapes of the Scottish Highlands, so he had something <laughs> nice to look at while he was on his makeshift pop-up posh lavvy. But the absolute best bit in the book, I think, is when Prince Charles once came back from the theatre to Highgrove and after a martini, he went into the kitchen to look what his staff had left out for him to eat. And when he walked in there, he shrieked with fear. Ah! So Camilla came running in to find out what the matter was, and he was pointing at the food, going, what the hell is this? And the plates were covered in cling film, which he claimed to have never seen before Stop. and was consequently terrified of. Prince Charles is 69 years old. Panel, can I ask you, for some reason, <laughs> if you had never seen cling film before, yeah. India, you must admit, it might be strange. If you'd got to that age and you'd never yeah. seen England and suddenly you saw it laying over your plates of salad and cold cuts, you might think, what the like, fucking hell's that? Yeah, yeah, that doesn't mean ghost. But let, let, let's yeah. just take some perspective here. He's not going to have to wrap his sandwiches or his leftovers guys, up really in Tupperware. I love Prince him. Charles. I suspect you have a lifestyle somewhat similar to Prince Charles's. I don't take my own orthopedic bed, but honestly, I'm like inspired by this. Mm. London, do you Charles. live a life like that? Would you like to? I'm classy. Yeah. I'm like broke with yes, expenses. I'm classy case. from Croydon. Yeah. No, I'm Croydon classy. <laughs> Listen, I don't do buses because buses are beneath me. Yeah. But I am. Um, you know. I mean, I make my own money, so I work as mm. hard and I play harder. Yeah. But I love Prince Charles. Like, I've actually met him, and he <laughs> told me that I was too pretty to be a comedian. Is so that what he said? I literally have nothing bad to say about so Charles. So he Lee. bought your loyalty with his empty flattery. You no, are a actually... very superficial person. No, I'm not. Do you think he used those sort of lines on Camilla? Yeah, because he told Camilla he wishes he was a tampon so he was inside it. Oh, no. no he that did yes, he did. Oh, that's, he very, did, he did, that's a very famous thing. He did, thing. He did. He did. He did say is, that. Yes. Do you think that's good sexy talk? Yes. Because I, I don't mean, think no. it is at all. I think mean, for oh, a 69-year-old man, you've got game. Well done, babe. Like, my granddad couldn't be dropping them lines on my grandma That's like not that. a good line, London. But 69, it's, that's a great line. Well, it's not a sexy thing to imagine. Being I mean, a sanitary like, product, is like it? Prince Charles and Camilla having sex is like your mum and dad doing it. Yeah, mm. I don't believe they have sex. I imagine my mum and dad being fantastic lovers and putting on a real spectacle. So oh, that doesn't make any sense <laughs> to me. Yeah. Great.
Thanks, panel. <laughs>